So is there a common industry that a lot of these guys make their money in? It's, it's different, right? So I, I would say, you know, the three big ones for people that go out and work and don't necessarily start an entrepreneurship, obviously, you know, finance, real estate, and tech. But I would say for me personally, obviously everybody's a little bit different. I don't think it's a very easy industry to break into, yeah. but I recommend everybody go into some form of like media because the revenue multiples in a media company, it's unlike anything else yeah. other than software, right? If you have a media company that's doing a million dollars a year in revenue, chances are you can sell that thing for 10 to 15 times the revenue that it's doing. There's not a lot of, a lot of industries that have those kind of revenue multiples. So I think that especially with just how everybody's going away from traditional media, everything's going more on demand. If you can find a way to build some sort of brand that's decentralized, that's, you know, not necessarily that traditional media, I think that that's, that's definitely the way to go. I like, I like media. I like media. It's, everybody's different. Your vehicle was insurance. Mm -hmm. Obviously, worked very well for you and it has for a lot of people. Most millionaires are in the insurance and slash real estate business. I know those are the two main ones. But for me personally, I think right now, if you can get into it, I, I like media. That's that's my view. So one last question. If you were to do this all over again, what have you learned the last three years doing this that you would adjust and do differently? Yeah, absolutely. Number one biggest thing that I would have done starting out was realizing that the most important thing that you can do as a creator and when you're when you're starting out on social media is own that data as soon as possible. The data. Because if, if TikTok goes, Right, we have 1.7 million followers on TikTok. If we lose TikTok, well, there's 1.7 million people. But if you own that data, you have them in an email list, those people never go with you. Then, like I said, I mean, there's newsletters. People have a couple hundred thousand people on a newsletter that are selling for 10 to $50 million. It's yeah. like, that's unheard of. And people don't realize that just an email list can sell for that kind of money. But if you can know that, hey, this person, John, who follows me is a single father. He's 35 years old. He loves to invest in real estate. He makes $110,000 a year. That's very valuable to companies and people that want to advertise. Owning the data would be the fastest thing that I would do in terms of from a content perspective, yeah. I think the biggest thing that we did well is right out of the gate, it was all about consistency. It's quantity versus quality early on. I tell people that you don't, unless you're making Steven Spielberg quality content, you need to be posting at least every single day. Once you find that winning piece of content, 10 exit and double down and don't look back, but make little pivots along the way, right? We were stuck at 150,000 followers on Instagram for probably like three to five months. The interview niche that we were in started to get really saturated. So we had to differentiate ourselves. We had to go up to people organically on the street. We wouldn't even introduce ourselves. We'd just go right into it. And that type of content, that more raw feel so it's, it's finding out how you can really differentiate yourself don't try and reinvent the wheel it's a big mistake that people make is they just like people think when they start a business they have to start some new tech company or something like that when in reality it's you no know, find something that's proven that you can do right insurance home services stuff like that right so that's kind of like how how i feel at least but don't reinvent the wheel be consistent and don't get discouraged either and i always say this this is a quote i always leave with people going viral is like hitting the lottery but creating consistent quality content is like investing in your future so consistency you know that's well, last thing you created a, 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 a you just created a, a community yes sir just launched a community called the School of Mentors. Every single week, I'm posting a live call with eight, nine, and even 10 figure entrepreneurs where you guys will be able to hop on these calls and ask them questions about your career, your lives, and your business, right? Mentorship, that's the only shortcut to success in today's world. There's, there are no shortcuts to success, but mentorship, finding out how people actually got there, that's the way to do it. So we've hosted some incredible calls so far, and we've also been filming master classes with some of the most successful entrepreneurs in the entire world on learning how to sell, how to market, how to become and, and you know preserve yourself as a CEO of a big company, right? Right. Digital closing, all these things. So the Great. school of mentors, only thirty dollars a month. I mean, the value in there is just. I, I, I'm I'm very transparent about price, just because it's the value there is just ridiculous, you yeah. know. So it's that's good. the school of mentors, guys. Come on, man. So Go check it out, guys, man. Awesome. That's good, man.